Welcome back to Inside the Middle East. In the five years that we've been on air, we have filmed in countless locations around the region, oftentimes in countries where it can be very difficult to work as a camera crew on the ground. So imagine trying to shoot a feature-length film in 80 locations and your crew doesn't have permission to cross the checkpoints. Well, that was the case with this movie, Salt of the Sea. It premiered at the Cannes Film Festival earlier this year and is the official Palestinian entry for the Academy Awards as a best foreign language film. We went to Amman, Jordan, where we caught up with the writer and director and asked her about the challenges. My name is Anne-Marie Jasser. I'm a filmmaker and I just finished my first feature-length film called Salt of the Sea. What is your father's name? Musa. Where was he born? In Lebanon. When did you leave Lebanon? I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Salt of the Sea is, is the story of a third generation Palestinian refugee who was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. When you call you? I don't have one. Show me your ID. I don't have one. Where do you live? Here. Why? Excuse me? Why do you live here? For me, the film is, is, is a love story. It's about two people who, in any normal situation, could be together. But because of a political reality, they cannot at the end. Um, so I didn't set out to make a political film, but everything in Palestine is political. <laughs> حسن مش عارفة إيش أسوي هيني وصلت هون أعطوني أسبعين فيزا وبس For me it's, a, it's also a film that's a very personal story about a woman who is angry she has a, she has a lot of frustration and, and anger inside of her and it's about her learning how to deal with her anger Here you are coming from America for a few Palestinian pounds they don't even exist anymore. My grandfather worked hard for this money and your bank is responsible. Look, if you need money, you take out a loan like normal people. She discovers that her grandfather also had a bank account which was frozen in, in 1948. There's a new uh, branch that has opened up in Ramallah of the same bank. So she, she takes the opportunity to, to go there for the first time. The, the idea visually for the film also is that she, she's very much trapped in a, in, a, in, a, in a Ramallah that is not what she imagined to be. The bureaucracy of the Palestinian Authority, the bureaucracy of the Israelis at the airport, at, you know, she's, she's constantly in an interior space boxed in. The change in the movie is when they, when they take things into their own hands and they, they go. None of us really know how to rob a bank. We know how to rob banks from, from movies, from what we watch on TV. And in a way, that scene is, is a bit of that. They, they don't really know what they're doing, so they kind of half mimic and, and half wing it, you know, and, 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 and get away with it. Uh -huh. أنا عايزك تحط لي خمستاشر ألف خمسمية اتنين وسبعين دولار وستاشر سنت في هاي الشنطة. It's a miracle the film exists. There was everything was denied to us. Eighty percent of our locations we were forbidden to film in. Our whole West Bank crew was denied permits to leave Ramallah. Basically, that was our policy, and a lot of a lot of times was just to film until we got stopped. Um, it's expensive and it's not very safe, but you know that's. That's what we had to do. For me, the, the sea has, has a lot of different meanings. That sea is, was what took the refugees away. So there, there's, there's that kind of love for the, for the beauty of the sea and, and hatred for the sea. Ask anybody from the West Bank. They, they, they want to go to the sea. And they can. It's easier to go to a sea in another country, but that sea, you know, that was the, the specificity of the title was salt of this sea. Not just any sea, but, but this, this sea. 
This is not your home. It is now. Soraya was always a difficult character to, to write because she's not always sympathetic, she's not always understandable, she's, she's not always likable, um, but she's honest and she's direct and she's, she's passionate. She's a flawed person, she's, a just, she's just a normal person. But I think also because in the film she's not sexualized because people accept that more, okay, we can have the angry female character, but let's see her in a really sexualized way. And she's not seen that way. House, admit it! When we were shooting this film, you know, some of the European producers were like, are you going to be okay because you're a you know, young you know, female director and you have all these like, Arab men to deal with on your crew? Are they going to really be able to deal with uh, direction from a, from a woman? I had absolutely no problem at all from the, from the male Arab crew. Karen was incredible that, that we were selected to, to be an official selection of the Cannes Film Festival. We had such a great reception. People didn't walk out. We got a standing ovation. It was good. It was very, it was very good. <laughs>